I've been working a lot recently with Henry from SEO Space. A lot of you guys probably already know him. Uh, basically, we've been going through some iterative changes that I can make to my website to make it stronger on search engine rankings. And a really small thing that he picked up on was the fact that I didn't have an author profile in my blogs. Now, I think an author profile on a blog or Squarespace just looks, uh, I don't know, a little bit... Uh, not nasty. As a terrible description, I would say it just doesn't look great. Like, it's not aesthetic. So I just didn't have one. But he said, this could be a vital piece when it comes to differentiating myself from any other Squarespace designers. So what I did was I wrote up my bio and then I popped it into profile, then I enabled it and then we pushed it live. And I thought, well, I'm not gonna gatekeep this. It's a cool thing that anyone can add to their website to get a boost in their SEO rankings and you can do it to yours. So what I'm gonna do right now is show you how to add an author profile to your Squarespace website. Okay, so the first place that we can set our bio is up here. So we click on our profile image here, and then we're gonna click on profile. And then in here, you can see that we can add our image. So you can just click upload, or you can remove if you don't want anything in there. And then we can just plug in our first name, then our last name, and then what we want our display name to be, you know, if you want it to be different. And then underneath that, we can pop our website. And then underneath that, we can put our bio. So this is what's gonna be displayed at the bottom of our blog posts. This is number one, and I'll show you how that looks in here. In fact, what I'll do is I'll show it on my website. So if we go to my blog, you can see at the bottom, we're gonna have my profile here that you saw that I set on the profile section. So that's one way of doing it. Now, if we go into our code examples website, I'll show you another way. So the first step is going to settings and then we want to go to permissions and ownership. And then within there, we want to click add basic author. So you can upload your image, you've got your display name, first name, last name, and then website and bio, just like we had where you can set it on the, like the main account page. So it's the exact same details. All you have to do is just plug it all in. So I'll do that now. Okay, so I've added in all my details here. Just hit save. And then what you can do on your blogs. So if we go back to website and then we go into our blog. We can set the author on our blog posts. So currently we'll see that this is my one that I've set account wide. Now, if you wanna change this on specific websites, then add the author, then we'll go the author route. So three dots, settings, and then we wanna go down here to author, and we're gonna change that. I mean, this is confusing because there's three Sam Crawfords, but if I just click this one and then save, and then refresh the page, you can see that now we've got the new author profile. So Sam, Sam Crawford's the best Squarespace expert the world has ever seen. I've never heard such true words, and then, we've got the URL as well. So super simple. Hopefully that helped. If it did, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.